Hi, this is Sedis. This is my first tutorial on cosplay uh, mod for Farming Simulator 2013. Um, cosplay is a tool for ha uh, for having machines performing mi many different tasks for you. And ones that the default uh, AI helper can't do. For example, cosplay uh, can be used to perform uh, tasks like unloading combines. Uh, driving the shaft from the chopper to the farm or the BGA um, and a lot of other cool stuff um, so this is the first tutorial I'm going to ma I'm making um, I have a lot of other uh, tutorial planned this first part here will be how to get cosplay uh, there is two ways to get it uh, the one is to get it from mod hoster they have just released uh, the newest release, uh, version 3.4. Some of the tools I have I have already recorded uh, since this tool I'm recording right now is actually a new one of the old one. <laughs> uh, understand it this way that I've uh, taken the opportunity to record a new one since uh, cosplay version 3.4 have been released. So, there is a new way to get it. Anyway, um, to get cosplay, uh, we need to go into our web browser. Come here. There you were. Um, we need to go into mod hoster.com uh, when you're inside here go up here in the search field and search for cosplay and it will it should pop up here and click it and Here's the main site for it. Uh, it's in German here, uh, but the version is still in English uh, and a lot of other uh, languages as well. Uh, if you want to read the description here in English, you can go up here and press the American flag. <laughs> anyway, then you have it all in English. Um, to download it, you go down here in this section and click the direct download. And I'll win the power and try again. There it were. Save the file. I'll save it on the desktop. And it's done. Close this one down. Yeah. Um, then we go into uh, my documents. Inside my documents, you have an my games folder. Uh, in here, you have Farm Simulator 2013, uh, and then you go into the mod folder. Uh, here's where all your mods are. Uh, the only thing you need to do is drag this one over, place it inside the mod folder, and you are done. That's one of the ways to do it. Um, the other way is uh, well, this is the released version we just got. Um, if you want to get the um, the developing version. Um, which have uh, some of the new stuff uh, they're working on and you want to help testing them then you can then there's another way to get that version as well Well, um, the link for the website I'm going to show you now will be posted in the description on this YouTube uh, video so find it there uh, first I'll 
well we just let this one leave here, here because I'll, yeah for now close it down new browser um, I have it saved here some place there we are uh, it's inside the github um, the link will be in the description as it said before so you don't have to remember what uh, what's up here um, this is the main developing site uh, this is where the, all the new files they uh, they are committing uh, bug fixes and stuff like that uh, will be here um, there are two ways to get it. Uh, one of the ways I don't want to show it because it will take too long uh, and it can be complicated uh, since you have to learn a bit of it. Um, because that uh, requires you to get an, uh, a git software to, uh, to get uh, this repository. So it's what it's actually called. Um, but never mind all that. The easiest way to get it is by the zip download button here. Click that one and then we get this uh, one here and we just save it and we save it to the desktop again. Um, before I'll show the rest. Um, if there is anything you find in cosplay you want uh, to report you can also go inside this uh, website here, go into issues and create new issue here and uh, describe uh, it as best as possible uh, remember to put in uh, your lock from the game if there's any errors in it it's really handy for them uh, on from the development side that well that the developers so they can see what the errors are so close this one down again this one however is a little bit more tricky than the one we got uh, from mod hoster because inside this uh, zip it archive there's actually a folder and inside that folder is the main file uh, so they are actually located in the wrong place so what we need to do here is extract this one um, I'll just extract here then you have cosplay master folder here and inside that folder you have all new files um, so we select all the files um, right click it uh, in this particular case normally I use uh, WinRAR but uh, in this uh, particular case I'll use Oh, uh, 7 zip. Because uh, I can just go in here and add as cosplay master dot zip file. Then we have cosplay master zip file here. Uh, we'll drag it outside here the on the desktop. Yeah, we'll just replace the, the original one, the one we downloaded. Close this one. Delete this one up here. Because we don't need it anymore. Yes, we want to delete it. And the last thing we need to do here is rename it. Um, I'm actually not sure if you need to rename it, rename it anymore. Because I think I saw some uh, some of their commits uh, on the developing side that they have changed so it is not dependent on the name anymore but just to be in sh be sure that it's named correctly right click this one rename then we'll delete the des master and go in front of cosplay and add three up cases sets and an underscore then press enter and uh, now you can do as we did in the well you could just put it in your mod folder now and it should work so 
we already put it in one inside the mod folder. So let's test if it works. So we just start the game here. Um, one way to test uh, to see if uh, cosplay is installed correctly is go into options and go down well into mods and we scroll down until we find cosplay. Um, here it says version 3.3, but it's actually 3.4 as you can see here over here as well. So that's is as it should be. So back, go into career, just start a new one. And we uh, load it and start. We switch to the first track that we right. It's this one. So the fastest way to see if cosplay is working is just by right clicking and the cosplay hot is opening. So this is uh, the first part of, well this was tutorial 1 um, in tutorial 2 we'll, I'll go over more of the functions the basic functions of uh, cosplay. So see you in tutorial 2.